The all-time great Denver Broncos, the Orange Crush, the three-time Super Bowl champions. Tonight we'll be taking on the all-time great Raiders, the silver and black attack with three Super Bowl championships of their own. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Phil Nunziata and welcome to the second game of our Monday Night Football doubleheader here in week one, coming to you live from Las Vegas. Kicking off here, as I said, the second game of a doubleheader here, Denver Broncos, Oakland Raiders. We're going to get started here as the team captains meet at midfield for the coin toss. Let's see where this goes. The coin is up and down. Oakland picks heads and will elect to receive the ball. They want the ball to kick this season off. Matt Elam getting the ball ready. Jason Elam, excuse me, on the tee. And off his foot it goes as this game is officially underway, waiting Back there is Marcus Allen. He will corral it inside the 10-yard line and get out to right around the 20 as Oakland Raiders look to start this one off. Ken Stabler sends a man in motion. And then a play action after the snap. Looking deep, he sees Jerry Rice deep down the field and it is intercepted by Champ Bailey of the Denver Broncos, the former Georgia Bulldog, with the interception right around the 40-yard line. Not a great start for the Raiders, but perfect for the Denver Broncos. Peyton Manning, the sheriff, Drops back to pass, feels pressure, stands in the pocket, and throws to a curling Shannon Sharp as Uncle will pick up the first down with a gain of 10. Next play here, first down and 10. Peyton Manning with a handoff to Terrell Davis, and he's going nowhere fast. Will actually lose a yard, second down and 11. Peyton Manning hands off. No, actually a play action. He's great at those deep down the field. Oh, he throws to Sanders. It is off his hands, and that is incomplete bringing up an unfavorable third and 11 for Denver. And Peyton Manning with the QB draw up the far sideline, making guys miss, picks up a huge first down. Not something you expect from Peyton Manning, but they're pulling out all the stops here early in this game. 2.50 left in the first quarter. Peyton Manning drops back, looking deep down the field to Smith. Rod Smith with the catch as he threads the needle right there at the 20-yard line. First down and 10 for Denver. Peyton Manning drops back to pass. He's looking. He's got all day. Great effort by this offensive line. And the ball is tipped but still caught by Shannon Sharp at the 11-yard line. And that looks just enough for a Denver first down. Smooth operating here by Denver after that interception as they hand off to Terrell Davis down the near sideline. And he will go in untouched. Terrell Davis for the first score of the game putting the Broncos up 6 to nothing, PAT pending. That's a great start by Denver. Right, You get exactly what you want. Turnover on the first play of the game on defense, and then right down the field with very little resistance going up 7 to nothing. It would be hard to have a worse drive here for Ra the Raiders as they did on the first drive with an interception. On that first play, Marcus Allen will be tackled right around the 20-yard line again. Sorry, the 25-yard line as they look to... Have a better drive here as they hand off to Bo Jackson. That's always a great way to start. And he picks up about seven or eight on that play. Second down and three. And a direct snap to Bo Jackson. This one right up the middle of the field. And he makes a man miss. And he is off to the races down to the 30 to the 20. Will he be caught? They're giving chase. And he is ankle tackled right at the five-yard line. You don't see Bo Jackson brought down from behind very often. Uh, but that was a rare case as they hand off another direct snap to Bo Jackson, and he will get to about the four-yard line, three or four-yard line here, as it's second down and three. Ken Stabler just tangs out because another direct snap to Bo Jackson, and he is in the end zone. That is a great response. Handing to Bo Jackson, especially in Tech Mobile, never a bad idea. Seven to six with the PAT pending. Great response by the Oakland Raiders. And the kick is up, and it is good. And it is now tied up at 7-7. Seven to seven. Great response by the Oakland Raiders as Blanda kicks this one off. Taylor, the waiting man for the return, at the 15-yard line. He makes one man miss and is brought down at the 23-yard line. Slow to get up, not getting up at all, actually, as Taylor is being helped off by the medical staff. You hate to see that. Looks like they are going to make a substitution here. We'll see how that affects them the rest of the game in the return game. As Davis gets the ball up the middle and is brought down at about a six, seven yard gain. And that is the first half there, seven to seven. And here we are into the second quarter, second down and three. 
Peyton Manning with the blitz, and he had no chance. Rod Martin with the sack. Great play by the silver and black defense there. Third down and 12. They converted third and 11 on their first drive. Uh, Peyton Manning drops back over the middle to Davis. It is off his hands and incomplete. And Denver will have to punt this one away after that incompletion. And it is away with Bo Jackson as the return man. That could be dangerous uh, for Denver as it is all the way back to the 10-yard line. What a kick as he makes only one man miss, and he is brought down at the 15-yard line. 4.07 remaining in this first half. Ken Stabler under center. Play action actually given to Bo Jackson for a gain of about three or four. Second down and seven here. Another handoff to Bo Jackson up the near sideline. Makes a few guys miss down to the 35. Breaks a tackle 40 across midfield of the 50 to about the 47-yard line in opposing territory. Great run and a great broken tackle to pick up that first down. Ken Stabler with a rare pass attempt here. Play action deep down the field. He's got Bo Jackson up the seam, and it is incomplete by a fingernail. And that could have been a walk-in six if they were able to connect on that one. Just a little miscommunication cost them an easy touchdown. Deep down the field to Casper, and he's wide open. You can't find the ghost as he gets into the end zone, and that's even easier. That may have been the first completion of the game for Kenny Stabler, and what a one it is to put them up top here. 13-7 to extra point coming as the Raiders will be up by a touchdown here, 14-7, to after a disastrous first drive. Two great drives with very little resistance from the defense coming from Ken Stabler and the Oakland Raiders. Portis, the new return man now, as he makes a few guys miss, making the most of his opportunities with about a 12-yard return. 2.20 left in this first half. First down for Peyton Manning and the Broncos. Play action pass. He's got plenty of time. Starting to feel the rush now as he throws the ball. It is tipped, but still down the field. Tipped a second time. Nearly intercepted. Incomplete. Second down and 10. Peyton Manning under center with a play action. Actually a pitch out to Terrell Davis as he will pick up a first down running up the far sideline or near sideline, excuse me. And a timeout to stop the clock at 144. Plenty of time to operate here. Uh, if you play your cards right, this could be the last drive of this half. As a curling Shannon Sharp catches that pass at the 50 and picks up another first down with about a 15-yard gain there. Uh, he's been wide open on those curls. That's one of the best tight ends in the game. Finding an open spot downfield and just sitting in it and waiting for the catch. Terrell Davis with a pitch out, and he picks up another first down or is very close to it running up that near sideline. They've had success on the near sideline, the short side of the field, very much today in the run game. As another one picks up the first down, as he was just short on the previous attempt. First down and 10 for Peyton Manning. Another pitch out to the near sideline. Oh, but the Raiders were waiting for him on that one to the 21-yard line, a pickup of none, actually. No gain for Terrell Davis, as they're going to run the same play again, and it has the same result, no gain. And a uh, little squandering there at the 20-yard line just outside the red zone, but they will kick the field goal here. Elam off his toe. It is up, and it is good, cutting the lead, the lead to four for the Raiders as Denver Broncos end that drive with a field goal, making the new score 14-10 to Oakland. Marcus Allen catching that ball right on the goal line with only two seconds left in the half. This will be the last play of the half as he makes a few guys miss, and he gets out to the 24-yard line. 14 to 10 is your halftime score with Oakland taking the lead. I'm now going to hand it off to Hank with the halftime report, and I'll see you in the second half. Thanks, Phil. The all-time great Broncos and Raiders would round out the second part of the doubleheader on Monday Night Football, starting off with Ken Stabler making a mistake on the first play of the game, throwing an interception intended for Jerry Rice to Champ Bailey. And then Peyton Manning, the Hall of Famer, would run out of the pocket. He would play over John Elway in this game because he did better in the preseason. The drive would end with a scamper down the right by Terrell Davis. TD has a TD. Raiders with their next drive. The direct snap goes to Bo Jackson, and Bo knows the Denver Broncos side of the field. He could. 
go all the way and he gets to the five yard line. Bo knows the end zone, however, as he would scamper six yards for the touchdown for Pater. The tie of the game. The Raiders would get the ball back right before the end of the half. Dave Casper goes to the post. Makes it to the 10, the 5, the touchdown, giving the Raiders a 7-point lead. Celebrate there, Ken Stabler. Had a rough patch early, but then they would pick things up by the end of the half. Peyton Manning, Hall of Famer, great player, multi-time Super Bowl champion, and multi-time MVP. This would lead to Jason Elam with a field goal kick. It is up, and it is good. Halftime score, 14-10 Raiders, back to Phil. Thank you for that, guys. Welcome back here to the second half in Las Vegas, Nevada, as the Raiders currently enjoy a 14-10 lead going into this second half. After a uh, turnover on their very first drive, the Raiders have done nothing but find pay dirt on their next two drives, and the Broncos will receive this opening kickoff as the Raiders accepted the ball after winning the coin toss to start this game. Off the foot of Blanda, and we are up and going as the ball's gone to Portis for the return, and he is brought down almost immediately, only about a four-yard return, and the Broncos look to close in on that four-point lead. As they hand off to Terrell Davis, he goes to the far sideline, and he makes two guys miss and picks up a first down, the first of many, first of this half, but many in the game for Terrell Davis uh, so far on the ground. Peyton Manning with plenty of time, and as I say that, the ball is tipped at the line and it is incomplete from a uh, rushing D-line for the Raiders. Couldn't quite get a beat on who tipped that ball, but in any event, it's incomplete. And then Rod Martin, guess who? He's back again for his second sack of the day onto Peyton Manning. It is now third and 12, going backwards after that first, first down run of the half. Deep down the field to Demarius Thomas, and it is off the fingertips in what would have been a big first down as the Broncos will now have to punt it away. Both teams having uh, a play each that's just out of the reach of a receiver for either a touchdown or a big play. Uh, so that's fair about fair play there as it's happened to both teams so far. Bo Jackson, the return man here, out to the 15. As we have about three minutes left in the third quarter, this could be a very pivotal drive for the Raiders. They can get any sort of points. Another direct snap to Bo Jackson. That has been effective. But the ball is out. It's bouncing around. It's recovered by the Broncos. Randy Garnish gets into the end zone. What a play as the Broncos take the lead here. What a play by the Orange Crush defense. A rare Bo Jackson fumble. I can't remember the last time I saw one of those as they quickly take the lead on defense as opposed to offense. With that PAT good, the new score is 17-14. to What a big momentum swing that is as Elam will kick it back off to the Raiders as they are stunned. Everything was going great, and all of a sudden they find themselves in a three-point deficit. Marcus Allen, this return man, out to the 22-yard line with 2.07 left in the third quarter. First down and 10, Ken Stabler with a play-action pass. He has some time. Pressure is coming in as he is throwing to a curling Tim Brown, and it is off his hands, and that is incomplete, bringing up second and 10. Ken Stabler in the shotgun, looking, has time. It is almost tipped, but it is caught by Tim Brown this time out to the 40-yard line and a Raider first down. First and 10, 132 left in this third quarter, and it is play action by Ken Stabler as he rolls left, throws across his body. They tell you not to do that, but Bo Jackson completes it for a gain of 8 or 9. Second down and 2. And it is a handoff to Bo Jackson. He will pick up the remaining yards needed and a few extra for a first down run. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Stabler with a play action pass. I'm sorry, a shotgun pass. He's got a man deep down the middle of the field sitting there. And it is tipped, but he is going deep to Jerry Rice. And it is incomplete. He had what looked like an easy completion sitting in the middle of the field. Not sure if that was Bo or Casper. Uh, but in any event, goes deep for Jerry Rice, who has not been very effective in this game so far. Uh, one play to him was intercepted, and the other is either dropped or tipped right in the end zone. So very ineffective is Jerry Rice in this game so far. Bo Jackson with a play to about four or five yards. We are now heading to the fourth quarter with the Denver Broncos leading 17-14. to 14. As the Raiders are just in field goal range here, they will kick this one. It is up. It is good. Tying this one up at 17. George Blanda with the kick there. Tying this one up as they will kick off 
to the Denver Broncos here. 17 all with 445 left in this game. And it is uh, Portis out to the 25-yard line on that return. Big drive here for the Denver Broncos. You would think that these teams only have one or two possessions left in this game. you got to make them count. Shannon Sharp on the curl route for the third time today up across midfield, picking up the first down. Peyton Manning looking for the drive to maybe put this one away as it is a handoff to Terrell Davis to the outside, cuts back to the inside, and he is off to the races. He is brought down from behind at the 22-yard line. Big first down, 340 left to go with this first down play for Denver. Peyton Manning surveying the field, has time. Great job by the O-line. It is incomplete, threw it a little far, ran out of real estate to haul that one in. Uh, if it was in the middle of the field, he probably could have ran under it, but just ran out of end zone. And now it is a Terrell Davis play that will bring up third and six. Big third down here for the Broncos. It is a handoff to Davis, and he just misses picking up the first down. So they will kick this ball to try as it is up, and it is off the upright but in. Great play there by Jason Elam, just sneaking it on the inside of the crossbar on the upright. And they are now leading 20-17 to with 2.44 left in this game. Marcus Allen returning for the Raiders with a first down and 10 here. Ken Stabler with 2.30 left to go. A touchdown could be a big drive here as he is sacked by Carl Meckenberg. Not someone whose name gets called very often, but comes up big here just outside of the two-minute mark in this fourth quarter. Second down and 20 as they hand off to Bo Jackson, looking to get some of those yards back, and he gets a decent amount as they are going to call a timeout just outside the two-minute warning, and he gets those sack yardages back. However, it is still a third and 10, not an easy feat. Ken Stabler uh, looked like he was going for a swing or a screen pass there. Either way, it is tipped away, and uh, not a great drive for the Raiders. That is fourth and 10. They're going for it because they don't think they're getting the ball back. And that curl route was caught, but just short of the first down. That could very well do it, depending on how the Broncos handle this drive, as the Raiders will use their last time out after that run play was sniffed out immediately for a loss of six. Peyton Manning dropping back to pass, probably looking for something short here. I'm wrong. Deep down the field, it is caught for a first down inside the five as that is, will go a long way as to sealing this game up as Terrell Davis goes into the end zone untouched, and that may just put this away for the Denver Broncos. They're, about, they're up 9, about to be up 10 with the PAT pending. As Elam's kick is up, and it is good, putting them up 27-17. to 17. Great second-half surge here by the Broncos. First, a score, a scoop and score on defense, and then another touchdown drive by the offense has given them a 10-point lead after being down four at the half as Marcus Allen makes several guys miss on the return out to the 45-yard line in opposing team's territory. Great start here, but I think they're going to run out of time if they don't have something big planned. Deep down the field to Jerry Rice. That is his first completion of the day and waited till inside the last 20 seconds of the game to make that catch, and he comes up hobbled as well. You hate to see that for one of the uh, league's all-time greats as he is subbed out for the remainder of this game that is only about 13 seconds, so you do hate to see that, especially this late in the game. Ken Stabler off to run, doesn't get very far. Chris Harris with the sack, and that's going to be your game, folks. The Denver Broncos defeat the Oakland Raiders 27-17 to as they will start 1-0 and the Raiders will fall to 0-1. We're going to go to Hank with the post-game show. I am Phil Nunziata, and we'll see you next time on the PR52 YouTube channel. Thanks, Phil. Post-game show for the all-time great Raiders and Broncos. Picking up in the third quarter, Raiders have a four-point lead, but Bo Jackson would know this mistake. Ball's on the ground. It's a fumble recovered by Randy Gratishar, newly minted Hall of Famer for the Denver Broncos. Broncos take a lead. 
But the Raiders need to come back, and they know that they can. They got Hall of Famers on their team. That's Ken Stabler to Tim Brown to the 40-yard line. This would lead to a George Blanda field goal. It's a long one, but it's up, and the Raiders tie the game 17-all. They're climbing back into this one. In the fourth quarter, with around 4 minutes and 30 seconds left, Peyton Manning, the Hall of Famer, passes it short to Shannon Sharp, and he goes, skip! All the way to around the 49-yard line of the Raiders. And then Terrell Davis would get the handoff. He bobs and weaves. And TD knows the 22-yard line of the Raiders. This would lead to a Jason Elam field goal. It's a close one. It's up. And it's good. Chip shot field goal. Doinks off the right upright. And the Broncos take a lead. Last-ditch effort. Fourth and 10. Less than two minutes for the Raiders. They're going for it. And Tim Brown catches this nine-yard pass, but it's not enough for the first down. And then Peyton Manning would get the ball back. The Broncos are just piling it on as Rod Smith catches this ball to the three of the Raiders. And then Terrell Davis will open up wounds as he scampers up the middle for the touchdown. Broncos win 27-17. to That's the first time they've beaten the Raiders in the history of the BTFL. Thanks, everyone. I hope you have a great day.